Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pop OG channel. Today I'm going to be talking through the different kinds of eagle vision that we see and how it changes between assassins through the different abilities, everything like that. So stick around to the end, I hope to see you all there, and I hope you all enjoy. So eagle vision is such a neat gaming mechanic in both the gameplay and the lore. And through the bleeding effect, nearly anyone can learn it given enough time, but only some have enough Isu DNA in them to come across it naturally. Every game seems to have different versions of Eagle Vision, obviously in an attempt to introduce different gameplay mechanics, but it also shows us how diverse and varied this sixth sense can, be, can manifest itself in chronological order of the games. So first off, we're going in chronological order from the oldest to the newest. So for the year 431 to 422 BC, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm going to say Cassandra. Obviously, it can be Alexios and Cassandra, but since she's the canon character, I'm going to say her. So the main thing with Cassandra is that she has the telepathic connection with her eagle Icarus, and she can see what Icarus is doing and accordingly see the residuals of her targets and enemies that way, even through Walt. It's a very rare form of eagle vision. Connor's daughter is the most recent recorded person to have such an ability, but I'm going to get into that later when we get for that far in history. The second thing she has is Athena's sight. It's basically like an eagle pulse, which launches a pulse in a small area to identify enemies and objects of value like treasure or loot. Cassandra might also have the highest concentration of Isu DNA, considering her parentage, how close she is to her grandfather, who is an Isu hybrid, which can be which can explain uh, how powerful her form of eagle vision is, uh, because the telepathic connection with an eagle is so rare. Um, yeah. Next up, the year 49 to 47 BC, Assassin's Creed Origins. The last Medjai and founder of the Hidden Ones, Bayek. Almost 400 years later, we come across Bayek of Siwa, who has similar abilities as Cassandra when it comes to having a literal eagle vision with his pet eagle. One extra thing we have over Cassandra here is that with his eagle, he can spot more than just enemies. He can also see non-hostile animals as well, and he can more clearly see what kind of activity everyone's doing as well. Um, as have a keen eye on specific materials that he needs. He also has an eagle pulse like Cassandra, but the game calls it an animus pulse, implying that it's an animus feature. However, since Cassandra's skill has a name, um, especially like for that historical time, it seems likely that Bayek has the same ability, and we just rationalize it as the animus, simply trying to make sense of it. Bayek also has the ability to enter memory corridors, as most assassins do, especially in the older games, um, after killing someone, which is like some psychic uh, empty void where you can converse with the fleeting consciousness of your victims. Uh, obviously, I didn't come up with that phrasing, but yeah, it was like while only a few seconds passed in the real world, Bayek Corridor is capable of all sorts of metaphysical visuals related to his beliefs and feelings. His victims and him almost have a psychic battle of sorts sometimes. And obviously, if you've played any Assassin's Creed, you know, we see this in all the older, older games. And I'll get into this later, but through Altair, we do learn that this is a part of evil vision. So, so following that, we have the year 1191 AD with the man who needs no introduction, Master Assassin Altair ibn La'ahad. The assassins of Altair's Brotherhood actually are the ones who coined the term as eagle vision, and I assume that's uh, how it's been carried out since then. It's He has a very basic version, but ultimately a still very powerful ability. Altair can see allies that can be of use, objects of interest like hiding spots, hay cars, everything like that, as well as enemies. He could use it to read into the intentions of others and obviously a useful trait to have as an assassin. Altair also had the ability to use memory corridors, um, but they couldn't create extra visuals like more the like the newer games are able to. Uh, and also worth noting, he could not see through walls as well. After that, the year... 1459 through 1512, Assassin's Creed II, Brotherhood and Revelations. Here we see the evolution of the Eagle Vision of one of the greatest assassins of all time, mentor of the Italian and Ottoman Brotherhood, Ezio Auditore. So Ezio's abilities start off the same way as Altair. Eventually he grows older, he's able to perfect it into something he calls the Eagle Scent. Um, this helps him, to help, helps him to predict presence of any sneak attack. It also helps him to focus on an individual's journey and intentions through the psychic echoes. This is how we see, and for instance, in Revelations, you can see when the Janissaries are walking, you can see their pathways through the footsteps. 
uh, everything like that. We see that in multiple games. It also helps him to uh, retrace old steps, especially including the ones made by Altair and Masaya. So SEO also could use Eagle Vision when running around, but he couldn't see through walls either. But it is said that his fellow assassin La Volpe uh, had that ability. Ezio's eagle sense was so developed that by 1511, he could also help sense heartbeats too, which is very cool. Next, this is very brief as well, but 1712 through 1722, the pirate assassin Edward Kenway. Edward um, had a similar eagle sense to Ezio, but he could also tag individuals and see those tags through the walls, which is a little bit more developed than Ezio or Altair. Following that, in Assassin's Creed Rogue, Master Templar Shea Cormac, Shea could also predict sneak attacks, much like Ezio could, and he could even use like a radar-like sensor to detect enemies uh, who are dangerous, while having all the advantages of Edward's tagging uh, eagle vision. Uh, after that, Templar Grandmaster, Master, and Master Assassin Haytham and Connor Kenway, I'm kind of grouping these together. Uh, Haytham is the son of Edward, as you would probably know, and he had eagle vision similar to how SEO's eagle sense worked, but he wasn't able to mark out targets through walls like his father was able to. Now, his son Connor also operated his eagle vision the same manner as his dad. Connor could also recreate psychic echoes uh, of old moments in time. Uh, that was a very rare ability that didn't manifest often, and in the games, it only did once when he was trying to investigate an old murder scene. However, this kind of out of the ordinary um, eagle sense that Connor had also showed up with his daughter because, like I mentioned earlier, she had the same abilities as Bayek and Cassandra that we see in one of the comics. And this is obviously out of the ordinary because I kind of rationalized Cassandra and Bayek having it because having the the kind of heightened eagle sense because they were had so much uh, Isu DNA in them because they were so close to when the Isu actually were on the earth, uh, more so than like Altair and Ezio did and everything like that. But I don't know. It's a mystery. It's lore. You can't explain it. But I had to throw that in there just because it's interesting. After that, the year 1789 to 1800 AD, Assassin's Creed Unity, the French assassin Arno Dorian. This one is brief as well. Arno's eagle vision is perhaps one of the most interesting. His eagle vision also functions as kind of like an eagle pulse, except unlike Bayek or Cassandra, the pulse lasts longer. He could also color mark his enemies and other people with it. He could see movements through walls. After killing a victim, he could see key memories of their lives uh, that can be related to what he's searching for. And while his eagle sense does have a cooldown after a few seconds where it kind of wears off, he is able to use it while running, which is an added bonus compared to other assassins. Uh, also, it's worth noting that after killing the sage, which if you don't know, uh, is a human with high levels of Isu DNA, just broad strokes, purposes, uh, simplest definition. Arno not only witnessed his memory, he ended up conversing with the fleeting consciousness within the, that memory as the sage died bleeding. And this could be possible because the sage had higher levels of Isu DNA, but it does not, uh, but it, or sorry, rather, it does confirm that for the first time, uh, those weird memory corridor conversations Altair was having was a legitimate ability of the evil vision. Next, the year 1868 AD, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, twin master assassins Jacob and Evie Fry. Now, Jacob and Evie Fry possessed a very powerful, powerful version of Eagle Vision. They could see through walls. They could make out targets outside of their Eagle Vision. They could mark out objects and other interests that could help in assassination attempts. And they had a huge range, probably the longest, the largest range than any other assassin uh, with Eagle Vision except for Cassandra or Bayek, who could actually use an actual eagle. Um, however, they could not run using eagle vision, but the twins also had the same ability to enter memory corridors after killing their victim. Finally, a uh, long jump here, the year 2012 with Desmond Miles. I feel like I have to throw this in. Uh, just despite having an abundance of Isu DNA, he developed eagle vision similar to his ancestors, uh, Altair, Ezio, and Connor just by going through the animus and experiencing the bleeding effect. So that's all of them. Thanks for watching, everybody. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. Check out my old videos or check out my new videos that are going to be coming out soon. Bye, everyone.